Okay, welcome everyone to the second session. So uh, today we will start with Rafael Cetri. Uh, Rafael is a professor at Université Côte d'Azur in, in Nice, Nice, France, not Nice, in Serbia. Uh, he's an expert on probability theory and also the stochastic thermodynamics, non equilibrium physics in general. And um, okay, he, will, he will give a Blackboard um, lecture <laughs> about the conditional probability. So thank you. Thanks very much. First of all, I want to apologize because yesterday I was not here for welcome you. So I hope that all your IWAL was good. Second thing that uh, you will see my English is very bad. I have a terribly French accent. So please interrupt me when you want. It's not a problem. Moreover, this lecture was not planned at the beginning. So don't worry. If I speak just five minutes and that you ask me 50 minutes of questions, it's not a problem for me. So, moreover, I, I think I have also a spot, uh, slot tomorrow for speak. So, and I have not so much things to tell you. So, don't worry. So, finally, I decided to, to, to speak to you to something very elementary. So, probably most of you listened this story before, but maybe it would be useful for you to have this example in head for the lecture of the second week, in peculiar, the lecture of information that will arrive in the second week. Uh, if people can ask me questions also in line? Yeah. Okay, so all is good. I have also other problems that probably the, this is a very little charged. Nobody have an iPad here? You have an iPad? No. no. If, um, okay, so I will, I will start. With, <laughs> so I will start with this, and maybe at after some time where it stops, I will pass to whiteboard. So the story that I want to start is that when you do base, the message will be very simple. The conditional probability from A to if I know B is in different is in general dependence of B. Of course, it's different that A, if I know B prime. If I write this, this is for you evident. <clears throat> but no, I will tell you a story and you will see that in the real life, sometimes this tautology for mathematics, sometimes you don't see really the difference between B and B prime. And sometimes this is, a, this is a, the, the roots of some paradox. So the story, the paradox that I want to tell you now, the first paradox, it's called, let's make a deal. So it's a game, TV, TV game. So it's a real TV game and it's called also Monty Hall paradox. So who is Monty Hall? He's a TV presentator, American TV presentator. So Monty Hall is a name, which during long time present this game at the TV, which was called, let's make a deal. So what was the, the deal? The deal was that there was in this game, sweet door, the door A, the door B, must be the same, sorry, my, yeah, no, it's not the same, but in general, must be the same. And then, in front of two doors, uh, in front, uh, behind two doors, behind two doors, there was goat. So this was a losing door. And behind one door, there was Ferrari. So this was a winning door. Then some uh, people, uh, uh, I don't know it in English, uh, a player arrive and select one door. By example, what is your name? Uh, name, uh, not family name. Rosie. Can you? Rose. Rose. Okay, perfect. So, by example, imagine that Jose arrive and then. Rose. Rose. You're a bit in front with this. <laughs> this. Yeah. Okay, this is Jose. 
<laughs> then Jose chose the door A, but he don't open the door. He put in front of the door and he said, okay, I think that it will be the door with the Ferrari. He wants the Ferrari. This is a prerogative. Then Montiol, this is important. Montiol know where is the Ferrari. Montiol know where is the Ferrari. He chose the place. So then after that Jose chose, Jose don't open the door. He is in front of the door. Then Monty Hall will open a losing door different than A, different than the door that Jose chose. So Monty Hall open. This is the two notions that I tell you are important. A losing door. He can't open a door with a Ferrari. A losing door with a different that a so different different that the Jose door. Okay, then from this door that uh, Montiol open, imagine he open B, then a gout go out. And then, and this is the main question which is interested for us, then Montiol asks to Jose, know that a, a gout go outside from B, Your, it remains just two doors, your door A or the door C. So what do you want to do? You can change if you want, you can go to what C or you can stay with your choice. Then do you want, do you want change your choice? This is the main question of this paradox. So I must to tell that historically, this, uh, this leads to a big debate in uh, this TV show because the TV show ran during a long time. And after some times, some people, not scientific, try to understand if there is a good or not a good strategy. And then some reader asked to a woman, which was not a mathematician, which is called Marilyn Van Savant, Marilyn Van Savant, which, which had, I think, at this time, a chronic on times, kind of chronic where, where you can ask anything, any questions. Why? Because she, she has a very big, big QE, probably 210. And then in this sense, she was, uh, she was uh, people think that she was good for understanding to all type of questions. Then they ask this question, and these girls, gives a good answer to the strategy. She gives a good answer. But then a lot of mathematicians, which was not probably this, probably, then try to tell, okay, this is very stupid. You are not a mathematician. Your answer is stupid, totally stupid. Okay. And then there was a big conflict during a long time between some people, mathematician, physicist, or not, or just a neophyte, which arrives to the fact that at the end, okay, one second, she give, she give, She give the good answer, the good answer, and then this lead to big debate, big debate. So at the end, there was so much debate that Montiol himself, which is not at all a scientific, decided to go in the countryside house, his countryside house, with a lot of friends during a weekend. And to organize a sim numerical simulation with a, new, with a new real life numerical simulation. So he tells to one friend, okay, you, you, you will change every time of the door. You, you will change. You will never change of the, 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 your choice. And then after playing many times, they see who is the, better, who is the winner. 
So you organize a real life numerical signature. Okay, so I can do a break. Did you understand all the rules of the game? Okay, so no, since this is very popular, I'm sure that you listened to this story before. It's arrived in movie, by example, uh, Las Vegas 21. Or it's arrived in video game, strategic video game where you must choose between this reader. So in this room, I can do things. Who thinks that we don't need to change the door? And who thinks that we must change the door? You must to, must to everybody must, must to choose one choice. You have the vote. Um, so who tell, okay, I don't care, I don't change the door. No, no, you can think that it's equivalent. It's a third choice. No, 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 but you, you there is two choice. If it's equivalent, you must do one choice between the two. So who tell, I must change. I must change. Yeah. Okay, so maybe here I will tell 30, 20%. Which who tell I don't change? No, but everybody must vote, sorry. I saw, <laughs> I come back. Who tell I don't change? I don't. I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then who tell uh, I change? Oh, you still don't vote, sorry. What is your vote? No, 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 the girl in front. Every day, okay, okay. <laughs> it's good, we pass. So there is two, there is two philosophy. There is a no changist, and there is the changist. In this room, with the limit of the of the, the game, I will tell that. Well, okay, maybe it was uh, seventy percent of no changist, thirty percent of changist. Then I will try to, to, uh, to tell you what is more or less the argument of each family when I speak with them. Without math for the moment. The math will be very elementary after you will see, but what is the argument of them? The non-changist, the argument is based on equiprobability. If you speak with them every time at the end, the argument it is at the starting of the game, The three door, the three door was equiprobable. Equiprobable. What means it? Means that the probability was one third, one third, one third. Then, after the, the fact that Pontiol opens the B, it remains two door, and there is no reason why. This two door will be not equivalent. I would. Lazar, do you think? Ah, okay, okay. No, no question. So, the argument of them, it is after. After. That the, 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 the door B was open, it remains equiprobable. Remains equiprobable. And then it is one half, one half. And then why I will take the risk to change if it is the same probability? In France, we tell, un tiers vaut mieux que deux, tu l'auras. In English, I read the same. Or we can tell that. Uh, the first intuition is always the better. Okay, then at the end, all this philosophy arrives to the fact that we don't need to change. Oh. 
is the people in this room which was non changist I agree with my explanation. Is their explanation is more or less the same? Okay. No, I will speak of the other, the other philosophy, the other family, the changist. This is maybe a little more complicated, but not so much. So at the starting, there is two possibilities. Or Jose did a mistake, or Jose has, uh, is uh, as true. So if Jose did a mistake, what is the probability that he did a mistake? Two thirds, two on three. He has a probability of two thirds to do a mistake. So to be in front of the losing door. I will to be in front of the losing door, of a losing door, sorry. Of a losing door. And he has the probability one third to be in front of a winning door. Of the, this time is the. Okay, this I think everybody agree. Okay, no, what will be a little surprise for you, but try to understand what I tell. In all the cases where he is in front of a losing door, if he change, he win. Why? Because the Monty Hall opens the doors B, a gout go outside. If he, if he was at the beginning in front of a gout, it means that C, the door C, was winning. No other choice. So if he changes, in this case, if he, if he changes, he win. He will tell me, yeah, okay, okay, but uh, oh, you know that he, he, he was in front of a yeah, I don't know. It's for this that I tell you that there is probability of two thirds, of two and three. There is other case where he is on the foot of the winning door. But then in this case, if it change, he lose. So conclusion, he must change. Two, if it change in two, in probability two, thir two and three is a good, is a, is a good strategy. If I see one or three is a bad strategy. So the conclusion here is uh, terribly clear. He must change. So if there is in this room some non changes people in the left uh, column that no are convinced by this strategy of the right column, or nobody is convinced by this.
is audio okay now? Okay, you can continue. Okay, okay so I came back. I was good for everybody. And then, no, I will give the, for me, ultimate argument. Is it to consider 1,000 doors? So there is 1,000 doors. And this 1,000 doors, there is 999 goats <laughs> and one Ferrari. Then I will down the door quickly. This, okay, boop, 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 boop. 500, 500, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, boop, 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 981 until 1,000. This is 1,000. This is 500. This is one. So, so they arrive, it choose the same door, any door, but then by symmetry, we tell that it choose the first door. Then Monty all arrive and he open the door two, a goat go out, a door three, a, go, a, a goat, 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 and suddenly it jump the door 504. And then after, goat, 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 <laughs> until the end. And then, it's for me that just two doors, the first door that Jose is in front, and the door 504. And then he tells you, okay, no, what do you want to do? Because I jump, the, 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 if he's stupid, he tells you, I jump the door 504, it's strong. In front of this 999 door, I just jump this door. Why? Because she's winning, probably. So, do you change the point of view now? People which before was not uh, inclined to, to change? No, do, do you change in this case? Yeah. Yes. Is there is somebody which still tell no? There is two doors. The priority is one half and then I stay with my door. Somebody? I would be really angry if I went to you for one night and then change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this case, if you change door, the probability to, to win will become 999 on 1,000. So in this case, it's very stupid to don't change. In the other case, we, we will prove no, it will become two thirds by changing. But then you can tell me, okay, but two thirds, I don't care. I, mean, I prefer to have one third and to, and to okay. Okay, but if you change this, this is, in this case, it's 999 that you have. And also you can tell me, okay, but I don't care the Ferrari. Okay, but then imagine the life, imagine the, the game where it is your life, which is in, uh, in, uh, in question. If you, if you, if you, the, the good door is the fact that you stay in life. Then you see that it's better to have 999 on 1,000 for the probability than to have one over, over 1,000. So no, for still people which are not convinced, I will do the mathematic elementary proof. But you will see the mathematical elementary proof, in a sense, we don't give you the roots of the problem. So I will call big F, it is a random variable. Where is, where is the Ferrari? Where is the Ferrari? F is for Ferrari. And this belongs to A, B, C. I will call P the random variable, which is the door open by Montio. And this belong a priori also to A, B, C. And then one important thing in all my conditioning probability, I will not put one important thing, it is so I put in red and this is true all the time. Jose is in front 
of the door A. You don't open, but it is in front. And so what I want to calculate for, for uh, have a good answer mathematic to this conflict, it is the probability that the Ferrari is in A if I know that Monty Hall, the presentator, open the door B. Okay, so this, what I can find? Well, by example, I can find maybe one half. And if I find one half, then people of non changing will be true. I don't need to change, it's equiprobable. It stays two door, the two door has one half, one half. But I can maybe change, I can maybe find one third. And then this was the other colon, the changes people, the changes people. And then I can find other thing, okay. I don't know. So I will do, so it's very elementary base probability. If the Ferrari is in A, is a presentator open B, base tell me, this is a, one of the most important formula I will tell in science, but this is true just in classical physics, which is that if the Ferrari is in A and the presentator open B, divide by the fact that the presentator open B. Okay, now once again, I, I will use for the numerator against base, but I tell you that it is the probability that the Ferrari is in A times the probability that the presentator open B if the Ferrari is in A. And in the denominator, I will use the total probability. I will decompose my event that I want, probability that the presentator open B on the, 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 the partitioning of the space, which is the place of the Ferrari. And then I will arrive to the Ferrari is in A times the presentator open B if the Ferrari is in A plus the Ferrari is in B B times the probability that the presentator open B if the Ferrari is in B plus the probability that the Ferrari is in C times the probability that the presentator open still B if the Ferrari is in C. Okay. Is everybody agree with this elementary equation? Or so, so somebody have doubts? So of what I did quickly. Jose, it's okay? It's a Sorry? Okay, so denominator, is, this, this is called the total rules probability. In fact, for proof to pass from here to here, you must to put the information here, you have just information P equal P. But now you, you want to, to add the decomposition until a partition of the space, which is the position of the Ferrari. So in fact, you, 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 will, do, you, will, do, you will tell that P equal B, the event that you want, it is P equal B intersect with all the space. But all the space, it is Ferrari equal A, union Ferrari equal B, union Ferrari equal C. And then you do this intersection of union is union of intersection. And after you do the sum and you, you arrive, you find this. In fact, we do this every time without you know, give a name. But okay, this has a name of total probability, but this, this is totally natural. But this is wrong. Uh, okay, it can be strange for you, but I want to tell you that this is, by example, is this false is wrong in, in quantum probability. This is a very something trivial in a sense, but which become, well, well, which stop to be valid when you use this born projection and all this. Okay, so now you will help me to find the value, numerical value of all the terms that I put in color. Okay, uh, uh, what I do for add? Uh, 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 okay. okay. Cook. Cook. Uh, 
Return. Click and last. I don't know. No, not green. Blue. Okay. So first, can you help me or tell me, tell me what is the value of the yellow? The yellow in front, it is the first the yellow. This it is the probability that initially, without any conditioning, without any help from nobody, so it's at the starting of the experiment. What is the probability that the Ferrari is in C? One over three. One over three. Perfect. So all this go one over three. Okay. Now I will do. I will jump the green, which is maybe the most hard. So I will focus on this, the blue. First, I will for you read in French. Uh, in, uh, sorry, in, uh, in English. So, <laughs> what is the probability that the presentator open D is uh, if the Ferrari is in C, and we don't forget the Ferrari is in C, and Jose is in front of A. So remember that. Montiol can't open a winding door and can't open the door where Jose is. So it's one. It's one, exactly. Perfect. Okay, no red. The probability that the presentator open B if the Ferrari is in B. Zero. 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 Perfect. And green. Green is more hard because we have three, three doors. The Ferrari is in A, is a behind A, and Jose is in front of A. One half. One half. Very good. He has two choices. He has two, two possible doors, B or C. So that he open B is one half. Okay. So if, if everybody is agree with this value, but then it's one third times one half on one third times one half plus. One third times zero plus one third times one. So it is one over six. One over six plus zero plus one over three. It is one, one plus two. And surprise, we find one over three. The one over three of the changes because no. What we find is the probability that the Ferrari is in A if the presentator Montiol open B. This is one third. And because the other, the probability that the Ferrari is in B is the presentator open B, this is zero. And then the last probability that the Ferrari is in C if the presentator open B. Must be two thirds. And so you see that the conclusion is clear from a mathematical point of view. We must change. Is there some question? So in a sense, this gives you a easy answer to your problem. But my feeling is that this hide what happened. So we will do a supplementary calculation. What is the probability that the Ferrari is in A if I know that the Ferrari is not in B. So once again, we will do very simple base. It will be the probability that the Ferrari is in A and that the Ferrari is not in B on the probability that the Ferrari is not in B. Okay, but on the numerator, if the Ferrari is in A, she is not in B. So one is included in the other. So the intersection is just the Ferrari is in A and in the denominator, okay, it is just A or C. And then it is one third on two thirds. And then 
catastrophe, what I find here, it is one half, the very bad one half of the non-changing people. So this is very bad. So what I do here, yeah. I come back, I, I just, I prove that if the Ferrari, sorry, Ferrari is in A, before I prove that if the presentator open B was one third, and no, I prove that Ferrari is in A when Ferrari is not in B, equal one half. So the question which arrive it is, what is the relation between these events, the presentator open B, and these events, the Ferrari is not in B. So did you see one event which, in, which is included in the other, or do you think that they are the same? It's not the same, no, because the, the random variable, what, which door the presentator opens, is not the same fact, the same event that the Ferrari is. Okay, so can you tell me if there is one inclusion? I think it's, it's more correct the second, no? Okay, first forget for, for, forget the complicated story. Is, 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 there is, a, is this inclusion is true? If, if the presentator open B, have you obligatory the Ferrari which is not in B? This is true or not? Yeah, this, is true. this is true. We are agreeing. And we can't discuss this. This is true. If the presentator open B, a gout go out, a Ferrari is not in B. The question is, do we have a reciprocal? Is this true or wrong? This is wrong. The Ferrari can be outside B, and if the Ferrari is in A, the presentator can open C. So there is no reciprocal. So you see that we have an event, P equal B, which is more precise, which gives you a more precise information. So the word information will be important for the next week. That the events, big events, Ferrari is not in B. And then this is the root of the problem for the people which are non changist when they evaluate the, the, the story, they translate in the head, what is the information? The information is the Ferrari is not in B. Then they conclude one half and half, it's good. But they do a bad translation of the information because the most precise information of the experiment is not the Ferrari is not in B. The most precise information is the presentator open B. And then, this is the moral of my, of my, all my story. It's very dangerous and it's very hard, but when you take a decision for your life or for, for science, you must to condition with respect to the most precise information. Condition with respect to, if not, this, this can totally change your decision as here. That is the most precise. I will tell fine, fine, F is fine, or most, uh, yeah, most precise information. For example, if you want to bet on the next match of the niche football club, it's better if you look all the match, include the last match of last week. This is a very precise information. All the match since uh, 10 match that if you arrive from the March planet, that you don't see the three last match and that you must bet with your information that you see of what the match that they do two, two months ago. Then the information is less good, of course. So in this case, we will not do, but you see that in this, in this, in this paradox, very quickly, we translate with, uh, because we are limited as human, we translate badly what is the information? 
and very quickly we tell okay if it's if he, if he open B okay then is the Ferrari is not B then he's coming two door he's coming two door good equal probability one half one half this is bad this is not the game the game is that the presenter open B it's more precise that a goat is in front of B okay no for finish I, I think when I must finish soon no. I am totally lost with, with the program. <laughs> I have five minutes? Okay, I will take 10 minutes and I will stop. I will do the dual, the dual paradox. So the dual paradox is called... Ah, no, sorry. Before to do the dual paradox, I want to give you a little exercise for prepare the next week. Can you prepare the fraction of this paradox? Can Now or wait, because you're going to another part of this, oh. right? Uh, Can we ask the questions about? Uh, yeah, of course. For that, just I give the exercise. Uh -huh. After I go to the other part. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, okay. I just I give the exercise for the next week. For prepare the lecture of information of Dimitri Petritis. So, yeah, I will ask you to calculus the information of the random variable f, which was the position of the Ferrari. Okay, you must find log the three. And I will ask you to calculus the entropy of F if I know P. Conditional entropy of F if I know P. This you must find log of three minus two thirds log of two. So this is finally the entropy of the, of the distribution that we find at the end. The position of the theory if I know P. And then I think next week a notion of mutual entropy will be defined between the position of the theory and the place of the theory, which is finally the diminution of entropy between the initial and final experiment. So here I must find something. And then this. In a sense, when next week people will speak of mutual entropy, then you must translate in your in your head that this is the information that Monty Hall put to you by opening the door. This is the information given by the presentator. Okay, so for, for, for do these things, I think it's just the Shannon copy that you know. This, you can look the definition on uh, Wikipedia, but it will be, again, the Shannon copy, but with respect to the conditional probability, F, if I know P, that you, we calculated before. And okay, now this is the definition, and this, I think, you, you will have next week probably other definition, then you must remember that in this experiment, this is this information, which, which result from the fact that Montiol appear in the story and give you an information by opening the door. And then maybe this can help you to have some intuition for some abstract objects the next week. So before to, to pass two minutes on the next paradox, I will answer to question of Elimir. Yes. Thank you. Uh, you uh, mentioned that uh, in the beginning, the vote is uniformly. Yes. And, uh, Sorry, if I missed, uh, if it is not uniform distribution. Ah, it's changed totally the story. Hmm? It's changed totally the story. Change? Yeah. If it's not uniform, my conclusion is bad. U uniformity of the, the of the Ferrari was uh, basic. hypothesis. Yes, yeah, basic oh, okay. If not, you change the story. But then, you know, you know for, for uh, that the paradox is uh, apparent, you must take the simple. Okay, okay. If you complicate the, the story, then the paradox will be less apparent. Okay. The second question. Uh, so when you consider the event, this uh, random variable, the vote is behind the operator, and uh, compute entropy of this uh, random variable, when you open the door, this will be always reduced as conditioning. Uh, when the presentator opens the door? When, once you open the no, door. No, but you, you don't open the door. The, the candidate don't open the door. It is a it is Montiol which open a losing door. 
and then you are true. Exactly. Look, look this, this formula. You are totally true. You will pass from this entropy, which is big, log the three, to this entropy, which is more little. Can you say something uh, about the relationship between entropies? For example, you open the second door, there is a door, and uh, there is no door. But, but this, is, but, is yeah, but this is. Yeah, yes, you are true, but this is other experiment. In this experiment, the, the, you don't open the door for the moment. The presentator open a losing door. So it must be a guard. Mm -hmm. He can't open a winning door. The presentator open a losing door. Obligatory. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. But you are true. The, 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 your question is more or less this. Your question is more or less this. Means the fact that the presentator opened the door change the information context the, 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 of, of, of the experiment and then give you an information which is which will be the mutual copy of the next week. Uh, okay. And if it is non uniform, the only point is to change if it is Aaron free, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, but probably it will also to change the paradox in the sense that uh, all will be changed. This will change, this will change also. So all must be changed. The paradox must, must remain here, but in an hidden way. So I will not advise to 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 no no Thank you very much. Thanks. Is there is other question? Yes. Uh, can you repeat the part of the most precise information? Yes, of course. So I you agree that I you agree that if the presenter open B, then the Ferrari is not in B. Are you agree that if the Ferrari is at B, this don't imply that the presentator open B? Okay, so this is the most precise information of your experiment. If you, if you translate your experiment by this, you forget some information. This is perfectly all the information from the opening to Monty Hall is here. This is a bad translation. This is the, the analogy in the football club where you look just the match three months ago. You forget the, the recent match. Okay, and so my conclusion was that in the life, it's very important when you take a decision with respect to what happened before to translate exactly what happened before. In this experiment, if you translate by, by P, F different than B, you, do, you take a bad decision, which is I don't change the door. This was my, uh, okay. In a sense, what I claim, it's very easy to claim, very complicated to do. If it was easy, everybody will be milliarder. So, so we are a failed machine for tech decision because it's very complicated to translate all the information that we have in the good uh, ensemble. Yeah, so, uh, if I may say something, if the presenter opens the door, then you can use that event in different ways. You can use it by saying, okay, this is very useful information because it because also in the trap in a different way. This is a non changes like every different yeah. So you have to be very careful. Like there is a um, there is a phenomenon happening which is giving information. The way you process this information from, from this event can be very different. Mm -hmm. I think it's not the same. Okay. So now I will I will just speak of the dual during two minutes of the dual paradox, which is called which is called which is called prisoner paradox. Just in order to interest you, I will change the context of the prisoner in a maybe more modern context. Then there is three men in this room. I, I, I change. What is on your name? Yes. What is your name? Ah, it will be hard. Uh, can you G Gilbert. Gilbert? Very good. Gilbert. And Miguel. Miguel, very, very easy. And. Ah, oh. ah no, it's not easy. Ravi? I'm Ravi Fernandez. Ravi. Sam the player. Oh, I agree with the X? No. Oh, Xavier. Like no. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Then this three man, who, I don't know if you is a good nominee, the same girl. 
or they want to go out with the same girl. Uh, the girl have no name, you know, uh, Josephine. <laughs> but we don't know who Josephine chose. Uh, they don't know, Josephine knows. But Josephine has a best friend, which is called, <laughs> I don't know, uh, Cunegonde. Cunegonde. And Josephine tells to Cunegonde who she chose. <laughs> Then they are all three in a room, and then Gilbert wants to know. So Gilbert wants to see Cunegonde, which is in this room, and tell, OK, Cunegonde, can you tell me who Josephine chose? And then Cunegonde tells me, no, no, I can't, I can't. Uh, Josephine asks me to don't tell to nobody. I can't tell you. This is the beginning of the story. So Gilbert comes back to, to see it, and then thinks, because he's a physicist and mathematician, so he tells, OK. <laughs> I have the solution. Then he come back to see Cunegonde. Cunegonde is the best friend. Best friend. And then he tell, okay, I understand that you can't tell me if he, if he choose me or not. But then, can you tell me between Miguel and Zavi, a man that she don't choose? Can you tell me between? M and G, a man that Josephine don't choose. So, Cunegonde, which is also a mathematician, thinks, thinks, and, okay, I accept this, uh, I accept you. I tell you that Josephine don't choose me well. Miguel is not chosen. So, Gilbert is very happy and tell to Cunegonde, ah, okay, she, no, I, you are very stupid because before my probability to be chosen was one third. But know that Miguel disappeared on the story. It remained just me and Ravi. And then, no, sorry, I have one half. So you give me good information. And the question that I ask for you is, is this is true or not? So can you repeat briefly the, the problem that I answered? Yes, yes, yes. So three men, Gilbert, Miguel, Ravi, which want to go out with the same girl, mm -hmm. Josephine. Mm -hmm. They don't know who Josephine chose, but Josephine has a best friend, which is Cunegonde. And then Cunegonde, no. Who, who is the man from the three which is chosen? So initially they have priority one third. Okay, but then Gilbert wants to know. Then he go to see Cunegonde and ask, is hey, I am chosen? I am the chosen. She tell, I can't tell you. I don't know, I can't tell you. I am not allowed to tell you this. Okay, so then he came back, he come back to, 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 to see Cunegonde and tell, okay, I understand that you can't tell me, but then I have other question, which is between the two other, can you tell me one which is not chosen? Okay. And then Cunegonde tell, okay, so this I, 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 can, I can do for you. And I will tell you, Miguel is not chosen. So at the end, he stay Gilbert or, or Xavi. Okay. And then Gilbert said, okay, good. My, my probability now is one half. So, is who thinks that Gilbert is true? Nobody. Ah, one person. Okay. And who thinks that Gilbert is wrong? Okay, and all the other still thinks nothing. All this be, be, ah, she's wrong? Yeah. Wrong, okay. Okay, so you know you can prove at Tom that he, he has wrong. Means that this afternoon you will prove the probability that the, the elu, the, the lover, is, uh, uh, okay, the, okay, no Ferrari is lover, is Gilbert, if Cunegonde tell uh, Miguel, is one third. Instead, the probability that the lover is Ravi, if Cunegonde tells Miguel is two-thirds, 
you must to prove this with exactly the same calculation that I did before. And so in a sense, the winner of this story is Ravi, which like nothing. And if you, if you tell me, okay, but what is the root of this? Right? It is the fact that when he asks his question, Gilbert, he excludes himself. So he takes no risk. So the probability will not win. It will be not fair. The other take a risk. The other is not in the story, but the other can, can be answering as people with, which are not chosen. So finally, when he is not answering as not chosen, too much negation, but forget, <laughs> not answering as chosen, then this tell you telling something by the fact that maybe it's more probable that he is chosen. And the, okay, the maths after very simple gives you this. So in a sense, it's the same paradox, except that the story is a little different because you can't exchange a name, <laughs> but if not, it is. Okay, I think I conclude what I want to tell you today on this. My main message, it is warning, conditioning probability can be not intuitive. And then conditional entropy will have the same kind of paradox, of course, because it will be just the entropy related to this conditional probability. Okay, thanks very much. Any questions? Um, sorry, we forgot to check whether we have questions online. No, okay, good. No, no questions. Good. Thank you. It's me. Oh, great.